بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد in a beautiful statement of Sheikh Muhammad bin Uthaymeen rahimahu Allah ta'ala in his explanation of Sharh al aqidah al wasatiyah in the book the explanation of aqidah al wasatiyah the sheikh said rahimahu Allah may Allah bless him with jannah to firdaus about this issue about salafia he said yukhti man yaqul inna ahl sunnati wal jama'ati thalatha Salafiyun wa Ash'ariyun wa Maturidiyun Fahaba khata Nukul Kayfa yukun Al-Jami' Ahla Sunnati Wa hum mukhtalifun Fahmada bad al-haq illa al-dalal Wa kayfa yukunun Ahla Sunnati Wa kul wahid Yurad ala al-akhir Hada la yumkin Illa idha amkin al-jam' Bayna al-dadain Dadain Fahnam Wa illa fala shak أن أهدهما وحده هو صاحب السنة فمن هو العشرية أو الماتريدية أو السلفية. The Sheikh said, and then we'll continue on to the second portion of the answer uh, in in his uh, speaking about this issue. He said, رحمه الله تعالى may Allah have mercy upon him and bless him with جنة فردوس this فقيه this عالم جليل. He said. The person who says that Ahlul Sunnah is Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is of three types or three categories. This is a mistake. Salafiyun, Ashariyun, wa Maturidiyun. You know, saying that they're Salafi or that they're Ashari or that they're Maturidiya. Fahada khata. That's a mistake. We say, how can uh, that be that all of them are Ahl Sunnah and they all differ. There is there any uh, anything but falsehood after the truth? How is it possible that Ahl Sunnah every, uh, every one from them refutes the other? That is not possible. Unless there's a way to make a gem, meaning to uh, to take the text and put the text together and make a uh, make an agreement with the text, or or make an agreement between the groups in their beliefs. He said uh, so. Uh, so he said that is not possible unless you can make that agreement between two things that differ. Then he said, yes. He said, and without that possibility, then there is no doubt that one of them, and that w- that one of them is the sahib of sunnah, is the, um, the, the person of the sunnah. So then who is he? The Ashariya, the Maturidiya, or the Salafiya? Then he said, we say, Men wafiq sunnah Men wafiq sunnah Fuhu a sahib a sunnah Wa men khalif a sunnah Falais a sahib a sunnah So he said, we say Whoever agrees with the sunnah Or is, is, is basically their madhab and their minhaj Is in accordance with the sunnah Then he is a person of the sunnah And whoever differs with the sunnah Then he is not a person, he's not from the uh, a person of the Sunnah, and he says, "Fanahlu nukul asalaf hum ahl Sunnati wal Jamaa, wala yusaddak al wasf ala ghairihim abedin." He said that the Salaf. He said we say that the Salaf they are ahl Sunnati wal Jamaa, and do not and and a person should not be believed. If they have a description other than them, never. He said, "Wa kalimat ta'tabur bi ma'niha l'nother." He said, and then so having just having a name or uh, you know associating yourself with this with uh, does not necessitate that it is 
uh, that it has that meaning. Meaning, for example, you call yourself Salafi, you call yourself something that doesn't mean that you are that. That doesn't mean that you are Salafi just because you claim you're Salafi or you claim you're following the Salaf. And that's my uh, addition to what the Sheikh said to explain what he what he's saying. Then he said, Rahimallah Taala, كيف نسمي من خالف من خالف من خالف السنة how can we call someone who differs with the Sunnah to be from Ahl Sunnah? La Yumkin. Wa kaifa yukun an nakula an talatha tawaif mukhtalifa an nahum mujtami'un. Fa ain al ijtima'. So he said also, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said that it's not possible to say, uh, to, to say that someone who differs with the Sunnah is from Ahl Sunnah. And how is it possible for us to say that there are three groups of Ahl Sunnah that differ with one another, but yet they come together? Where is their coming together? And then he said, For Ahl Sunnah will jama'ah, whom? السلف معتقد حتى متأخر إلى يوم القيامة إذا كان على طريق النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأصحابه فإنه سلفي. Beautiful statement, especially for those who say that Sheikh Ben Othaymin didn't use the term Salafi. Here it is in, in text form, and you can find it in Aqidat Wasatiyah. So then, uh, Ben Othaymin, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, he said, So Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, whom they are the Salaf Mu'taqidin. They are those people who uh, believe like the Salaf, you know, in their creed. Until, uh, you know, they have the, the creed of the, the Salaf, meaning the early generations, meaning the Sahaba and the Tabi'in with Tabi'in, tabi until the later generations, meaning those people who followed their path, until the Day of Judgment. And he said... If someone is on the path of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions, then he is Salafi. Ben Uthaymin used the term Salafi. Here's what he said again in Arabic form, فَإِنَّهُ Salafi. Ben Uthaymin used the term Salafi. He said, for verily, he is Salafi. Meaning someone who follows the methodology of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the minhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, then he is Salafi. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.